And the larger pieces, I will either cut them up or drop them. But basically, I've got a lot of different unique shapes there that I can use that will not look contrived. The goal here is to create art that the community would have a say-so in. And when I'm using paints and materials that they give me, then that person, energy, and what colors they decided to use in their house, it becomes a part of this installation. This is in Kissy Iron House. When we started working on this building in 2008, there was someone who was squatting in the building. He had been there for about 10 years. He left. So we said, okay, now what are we gonna do? Sit here and wait for the city to come remove this building? Or uh, is there something we can do with it? As we were out there painting, people would stop by and ask, what are you doing? What do you need? I said, okay, we need some paint, we need some mirrors, and we need some wood. And before we know it, we had enough materials to complete the building. I believe the lab saw something and decided that, yeah, it is ugly, it could be torn down, but instead of tearing something down, I believe he wanted to say, let's build something up. Everybody can do something. It's a, it starts with, you know, picking up the trash on your block. It may not be your trash, but it may be in your neighbor's yard, and we all have to start somewhere. People do not want to do anything unless they own it or there's some vested interest in it for them. And doing what we did, in a sense, we took ownership because now we feel obligated to keep this area clean. There are people who leave here and go and do things like this in their own backyard. Art has a purpose in our life. And we must remember, uh, without the art, the people become bored.